just want to show a good shot of these tires from the front. They're General Altimax Arctic Ice studded snow tires, 100 bucks a piece. Um, they got about a thousand miles on them, and they have done extremely well. Snow, ice, dry roads, wet roads, curves, everything. They have done extremely well. Uh, you know, I just, I really like these tires. They're quieter than the Firestones. They don't really seem to do much better than the stud than the Firestones do, but. Uh, you know they they ride better on the on dry roads and they handle better in curves on dry roads but as far as snow and ice goes yeah i i couldn't pick one over the other they're both extremely well uh well you know formed tires and they do extremely well they do good when it's cold outside too like snow tires supposed to do it was two degrees here last night and this morning when i started the car and Went up the road. I went to help my dad put some wood in the fire, and or not in the fire, but wood in his basement and get everything together down there for him. Uh, they they just did extremely well. And it was two degrees out here this morning, four degrees at about ten o'clock. So, and you they just dug and went right on. But uh, you got any questions about them? Let me know. I went with a skinnier tire because in the snow and the, in the ice, you want a little bit skinnier of a tire. Wider just tends to ride on top of stuff. And the skinnier tires will dig down in a little bit better, and they'll they'll handle better in the turns and stuff, in my opinion. But these are two fifteen sixty five seventeens, and the factory size is two twenty five sixty five seventeens. So I only went down with one size and the width. Well, I wanted to show that tire because that was a that was an awesome looking view of that tire. Uh, now, of course, we've ridden this driveway down a lot. We have been all over this driveway. We've had a lot of traffic in and out of here, so. And I got right there and was, was testing out the car, and they spun and backed up, and the suspension was cocked, and, and it backed up on that hump right there. So this is the slant of the driveway as you're sitting here, and it climbs as it goes up and goes around and then goes out the driveway there. And I backed up on that hump, and it just – traction control kicked in and caught, and I could feel the car just stop spinning and just pulled itself on back, but it took about five seconds for the computer to realize what it needed to do. But it still did it. So you got to stay on the gas, like I've said before, and even in snow, and eventually it will dig itself out. But that is like a really neat tread pattern on there. Let's see if I can zoom in. See right there, it is just an awesome looking tire. And they come a 12 30 seconds tread depth new. So, you know, and they've they still got 12 30 seconds tread depth after about 800 to 1,000 miles. I can't remember. Put the tires on at the same time I changed the oil so I can keep up with the miles of the tires. So that's a short review of those tires. I run about 32 pound of air in them all the time. So they'll stay so I can wear the tire out across the whole tire instead of just wearing out the shoulders of the tire from having too little of air pressure. You put too much in, you wear the middle out. So you kind of go in the middle and it'll wear the tire out pretty evenly and keep them rotated regularly every 5,000 miles or so. And they should wear pretty good. And I still got a lot of tread depth left on those Winter Force tires. They've probably got about nine thirty seconds tread depth, and this is the second year I've ran them. So I've wore three thirty seconds tread depth out of them, and they still do great. So that's a short review of those tires. If you got any questions, just let me know.